The James Webb Space Telescope is the successor of Hubble's Great Space Science Observatory, aiming to answer unanswered questions about the universe and make groundbreaking discoveries in all branches of astronomy. JWST was developed in collaboration with the European Space Agency, or ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, of the United States, or CSA. The NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, or GSFC in Maryland, oversaw telescope development. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore manages JWST, and Northrop Grumman was the prime contractor. The telescope is named after NASA Administrator James E. Webb, who served from 1961 to 1968 during the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. JWST's primary mirror is made up of 18 hexagonal mirror segments composed of gold-plated beryllium that together form a 6.5-meter or 21-foot diameter mirror compared to Hubble's 2.4-meter or 7.9 feet. This offers the Webb Telescope a light-collecting area of around 25 square meters, which is approximately six times that of Hubble. Unlike Hubble, which observes in the near-ultraviolet, visible and near-infrared, 0.1 to 1.7 meters spectra, JWST will observe in the long-wavelength visible light or red to mid-infrared, 0.6 to 28.3 meters. To see fainted infrared signals without interference from other sources of warmth, the telescope must be maintained extremely cold below 50K or 223 degrees Celsius or 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Its development began in 1996 with a $500 million budget and an initial launch date of 2007. Many delays in cost overruns occurred, including a major redesign in 2005, a ripped sunshield during a practice deployment, recommendations from an independent review board, a threat to cancel the project by the United States Congress, the COVID-19 pandemic, and problems with the telescope itself. The media, scientists, and engineers all commented on the launch's high stakes and the telescope's complexity. Construction was completed in late 2016 and years of thorough testing before the launch. The entire cost of the project is now projected to be around $9.7 billion. NASA's JWST has been fully aligned. Following a thorough examination, the observatory was found to be capable of capturing sharp, well-focused photos with each of its four powerful onboard science instruments. After completing the seventh and last step of telescope alignment, the team attended a series of crucial decision meetings and unanimously agreed that Webb is ready to proceed to the next and final stage of preparations, known as science instrument commissioning. This will take around two months before scientific operations commence in the summer. A sequence of photos capturing the observatory's full field of view show the alignment of the telescope across all of Webb's instruments. These remarkable test images from a successfully aligned telescope demonstrate what people from all across the countries can achieve when there is a bold scientific vision to explore the universe. Sadly, Feinberg, Webb Optical Telescope Element Manager at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, the telescope's optical performance continues to outperform the engineering team's most optimistic predictions. Webb's mirrors are now directing fully focused light from space down into each device, and each piece of equipment is effectively collecting photos with the light provided to it. The image quality transmitted to all instruments is diffraction limited, which means that the fineness of detail visible is as good as physically achievable given the telescope size. The only alterations to the mirrors from now on will be very small, periodic adjustments to the primary mirror segments. My role in the James Webb Space Telescope mission has come to an end, with the completion of telescope alignment and half a lifetime's worth of effort, stated Scott Acton, Webb Wavefront Sensing and Control Scientist, Ball Aerospace. These images have profoundly changed the way I see the universe. We're surrounded by a symphony of creation. There are galaxies everywhere. It's my hope that everyone in the world can see them. The web team will now focus on science instrument commissioning. Each instrument is a very sophisticated set of detectors outfitted with customized lenses, masks, filters, and other equipment to assist it to accomplish the research it was created to do. During the instrument commissioning phase, the particular characteristics of these instruments will be set and operated in various combinations to completely check their sustainability for science. With the formal completion of telescope alignment, important people involved in each instrument's commissioning have arrived at the Mission Operations Center at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, and some telescope alignment personnel have completed their tasks. Despite the fact that telescope alignment is achieved, some telescope calibration tasks remain. The telescope will be commanded to point to different parts of the sky 
where the total amount of solar radiation striking the observatory will vary to confirm thermal stability when changing targets as part of scientific instrument commissioning. Furthermore, every two days, ongoing maintenance observations will monitor the mirror alignment and, if necessary, implement modifications to keep the mirrors in their aligned positions. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.